Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. Hi everybody, I am Alice Serafin Allie, as my friends and family call me. Um, welcome to my channel. I am so, so happy. I am starting to really feel good again. It is amazing when you've been sick and when like the scar and all that stuff opening up. It just has been, I feel great. So, well, not great. I'm, I'm feeling good. So this is alternative video number 15 for May 2023's Exploring in Color in Paper for this month's Paper Pumpkin Kit. I'm going to move this aside. Um, I am using this back half of this canoe card base. So, and then I have, let's go over everything we're going to need. I got lots of stuff done so we don't take up too much time. I forgot to write that down. So I have a card base is boho blue five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter that's this piece this piece which i really don't need to write this down but we will with my pretty pink kitty so we're going to write for the inside inside basic white at four by five and a quarter so that's for the inside of our card. We're going to set those aside. I'm going to put them on my little magnet clips here. So we're going to, and then one half back of the canoe card base. So this is the back half we're going to cut apart. We're going to use the envelope as the envelope. <clears throat> but you guys have seen me, I believe, cut this apart and use it. Or maybe not. I do have one card that didn't get a video for it, but I will show that in the paper pumpkin review. So next I have lots of scrap pieces. So I literally mean scrap pieces. We are also using uh, Best Catch, very retired set and catch of the day dies, which um, is really similar in style to the new fish stamp set in the main catalog. I just haven't got around to purchasing it but oh boy am i going to <laughs> oh i definitely want that one so what do we have out of the catch of the day we have the little fishing basket and i should have two of these yes because i started playing with one this is the one we're going to use i have the little fishing hat for you dad which needs another little dimensional right there under four. I have the little fly fisherman, the fly fishing basket, of course, and the little hat you put, and these little cattails, which I'm going to show you how I colored. So those are my bits and bobs, and they were all done with scrap pieces. This was a card base I had messed up on. Um, I'm going to show you how I cut it because there was more of it. I cut this piece out and used it, and I cut one of these panels out and used it for this. But I just want to show you that when I say scrap, I do mean scrap pieces. And then <coughs> I use this large um, oval die, really old retired one. I might need use this piece. I'm not sure yet, but I took out of this was the back of one of the card bases. I punched a piece, this oval piece there. So I'm not sure we might change it to that. But there's that, and let me show you what else we use. So for my white pieces, I used a piece of the envelope. So I'm going to show you right here it is. I stamped it in, um, you're the best catch ever. I stamped that on this, and then I stamped it in Pebbled Path, and then I fussy cut it out. Here is the Boho Blue Oval. And this, guys, I took the Take Your pick banner punch and this is that center piece I told you guys that I use this is it here and we're going to use that as a banner so you guys can see all the bits and bobs and how I got all that done this is going to go back in my bin and I'm going to put all of these together this card shouldn't take very long so here's one clip oh my magnet and this one, don't really need that one anymore, but I do need these bits together so they just don't go anywhere. And I have great news, my scar first night since getting the stitches out that it did not open up. It's looking really good. So I've had like three pieces of it uh, get messed up. So 
what are we doing? We're going to use some blends. So let's get started with cutting our card base up. I need that guillotine that I just covered up with my box. So I'm going to give my card base a light little crease on it. Because I want to save this. I have an idea for this piece and I'm hoarding it. Yes, I am hoarding it. Though I do have one more full card base, but I'm hoarding that too for another project. Um, so, and I got some stickers here that I'm going to show you. I think we're going to use on the inside of the card. So this card base, put the guillotine away. Uh, we're going to trim this down to four by five and a quarter. So do I just want to take it off of that side? No, I'm going to do my thing. I like evening it up. So I'm taking... Um, one sixteenth of an inch off of all four sides. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I am choosing to. Except the top and the bottom, I can't ever figure out if I got the sixteenth because there's no mark. That looks like a sixteenth off the top. Now I just have to get this to five and a quarter, which is that white line right there. So all of these little bits are going in my recycle bin. <clears throat> and we have our card base okay so let's get our, our goodies let's get these here so I have four dad which may not use that at all realize I got two different things but little fisherman dude this is so perfect for him I mean couldn't it be any better I took, I am going to use some blends. I used a blender pen in copper clay on that, and I wasn't overly thrilled. So I have dark pebble pad. What do I have? My crumb cake. So I have brought out, um, I have the wild wheat ones. I have the retired soft slate. This one is crumb cake. This is crumb cake. I have the smoky slate, the light. And I have light and dark pebble path, light and dark wild wheat, and like I said, light and dark soft suede. So let's do a little bit more on my little uh, man here. And I'm going to choose... I'm going to choose to come in with light crumb cake. I just want to do like his fishing vest some, just adding a little bit more color there. So we're going to just add some color there, maybe to the collar of his shirt. And, you know, his jeans would look great in boho blue. <coughs> but maybe even lighter. Let's bring in the balmy blue. If I had a seaside spray blend, I would use it. So this is light balmy blue. I'm just gonna, because he's got wading boots on that probably should have been wild wheat, but we're gonna give this a look. Balmy blue, maybe. Now that I'm seeing that, we do want those a little darker. This is boho blue. What is this? This is the dark. So yeah just a different color like he's out there in his blue jeans and his wellies um, fly fishing so there is my little man and I wish a little IV bottle I need to take it and have it clean but this, I'm not even gonna fight with it I keep forgetting to bring them in the house so it's the old big bottle of Tombow for this guy um, and to, are we gonna you know what? We're going to pop him up on dimensionals. So it ain't, this isn't going to work anyways. So let's grab, let's grab some dimensionals and see what we can work with. So we're going to put, that one fits nicely there. This I might have to tack it down a little with some liquid glue. But our little man here, one up there. And I'm thinking, does one fit? I believe it or not, I'm going to use five minis on him. I really want him nice and sturdy. And then we will, not sure what to do there. I kind of want to tack it here and tack it there. And I'd like a little strip. Let's just go for it. Let me find my 
glue scissors and I'm gonna take a little oh that's gonna be perfect I think I hope I don't have to cut it any farther yeah we're gonna have to take we're gonna just start putting it down there and then we'll snip off the end if we need to I'm gonna load this up right there Yep, we're going to need to snip off maybe. Oh, no. Woo -hoo. That works. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to get him glued down, and then I'll add a little tacking of glue. Or a glue dot actually would work. We'll do the glue dot thingy. Just because we can. So we have all of our bits and bobs off. I know I want to start with him because I know where... I want him. I want him right there. Now what I want to do is tack it here and leave this up like the fly is. But I just need <clears throat> a glue dot or two. But we're going to see what we can do with one. Pull that up. Maybe I'll put one there and then one right there. And then this little sheet is all done. Thank you for your service. I love my pokey tool. Love, love, love my pokey tool. Um, so, by the way, Miss Judy Bradshaw, you won the pokey tool. I have it in envelope. I just need your address, darling. Just need your address. Alice Serafin. Email it to me at aliceserafin1969 at gmail.com. I will write that down. Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be so cool. So we have the little fishing hat here, and I wanted to show you. Well, let's start off with. I'm going to show you. I stamped this little fishing basket in copper clay. This is what's cool with the water-based inks is you can take a blender pen. This is, you know, 20 year old blender pen. Tip ain't got nothing in it, but it's, oh, and you can just blend that ink around and you don't need anything else. Absolutely love it. So just show you a couple different trips. This blender pin's on its last leg, but I'm going to use it till the end. All right. Now his hat, I thought about doing the same side, except I got blue on one side and I don't want no blue. So I'm just wiping it off. I'm going to take this and I'm going to blend all that green. It's going to have a little bit of blue in it because I didn't get it quite off. I do like that. Might add more to it. You can see all the blue still in there. Yeah, we're probably going to add a little bit more, but can. Yeah, my blender pen. Time to grab it. I only got three packages of them, guys, in my desk. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. Okay. Mm, we want um, we want to do a hat band. We could do dark soft suede we're gonna give them a little oh that's really not the color I want but it's going to be so we're gonna add a little there and this is the soft suede that has been retired right nope yeah nope this is soft suede but it's just going on top of the wild wheat I'm gonna blend that because I'm not there we go wonder why my soft suede looks so funny crumb cake would look really nice on this hat I'm gonna add pebble path I think to the hat band just because I can all right we went to darker oh I know why hmm because this is light soft suede. No, that's dark soft suede. This is crumb cake. Oh, we are going to add, let's see what smoky slate does. 
to the hat band because we already got a layer. Nope, that's not showing up. So let's try Pebble Path. That's better. There we go. Just a little hint of a... So there's my hat. Let's finish this. So this is, what is this? Light Pebble Path. I want the light smoky slate for my buckle. Then I'm going to take um, Wild Wheat. This is the dark. And I'm going to go here with it, here. And you do kind of have to be careful when you put this on top of um, water-based inks, which is what Stampin' Up's pads are. But it, it's still working out for me, no problem. So then I'm going to take the light and I'm going to color in. I'm just adding a little of the colors in the kit to our fish basket. My husband no longer flies fish, but I always thought that looked really cool watching him fly fish. My father thought so too. It is an art that um, takes time to develop how to cast with those fly poles. So next we're going to take that pebbled path and we're going to start with the light because I'm not sure if I need the dark and this is just for the strap. Yeah, I don't need the dark. Oh, I just realized I put smoky slate in the center and not on the buckle. So we'll add another little bit right there and then the smoky slate for the buckle. Okay, so our fish basket is done. Anything else? Oh, yes, we do. We do, we do, we do. So this, I die cut the cattails out of the wild wheat. And where is my crumb cake? I need the soft suede. I just need the dark. And that's the wrong tip, by the way. I want the brush tip. I'm just going to take it and swoosh it over the cattails a couple of times. Okay, that's the soft suede. Um, early espresso, any color like that would work. And then I had, is this the dark crumb cake? I want the light. Do I not have the light available? That smoky slate, pebble path. I want the light, light crumb cake. I'm gonna do the stem. I'm gonna bring that right there. So that's my cattails. And all of those blends, all for that little bit of stuff. And I'm gonna throw that pile over there. Okay, so we have our fishing basket, which is not gonna go there, probably gonna go on the inside probably though on the inside. Now let's get this in play. I thought that we could add this right here on this side. And we're gonna go ahead, uh, give me a minute. I wonder, okay, that is not gonna work. I thought that might work, but with the bush there, it's not going to. So we're gonna keep this as all my blends go flying away. Let's cut this off with a guillotine because you guys know I can't get this right. I just cannot manage it. So we're going to take it, I think, to three. Let's see. Let's see our oval. Yeah, three would be perfect. So we're going to take that to three. And then we're going to put all this the good stuff together. And, oh. So, so nice. So this, which do I do? Put this down and pop that up. I think so. So we want to make sure we have it. Let's get it on a grid. I want enough for my... Okay, we're going to come in at half an inch from that side. So I need some glue. Some wet glue. Okay. 
and I said start at a half an inch which is right there and this is just under an inch if you've ever used those take your pick tools it can do three different sizes but they need to be like a hair inside of the actual size and how do I tell you let me show you I do have it here okay so here's the take your pick punch and it does an inch uh, three quarters of an inch and a half an inch oh I'm not gonna waste this let me I just have here we have something what size is this it's not quite an inch so if I wanted a banner like mine you would think an inch you would go right there wrong don't know why but it needs to be you can do right there or just inside of that inch and then it will slide in otherwise it does not slide in nicely and you see now it's got all that movement and you just unlock it stick it in there you do want a tail so a strip is good because you want something otherwise you got to hold it here get it in there and just pop and there you have it and that can be saved and so can that so next we're gonna put yeah we're gonna glue this down and this is just done with the envelope paper as I'm using it fussy cut out and this now is gonna go up on dimensionals and I have these bits Blue scissors, please. So let's see. Will that be enough? I wonder. There's some. Let's get some more. That looks pretty cool. Oh, love it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh, and I forgot about my cattails. These might be too big for my card, though. And I glued him down. It could have put him... These are too big for my card, and they're so cool looking. Oh, sometimes that happens, guys. It just happens that way. But we have the inside we can decorate. So let's glue our card base. Oh, doesn't that look nice? It does. It does. It really, really does. Okay. You can see this is the one that I wrote down. The dimensions to show you guys on another video. I told you you wouldn't see it. I was going, didn't bother me to write it down on the back. So there's the front. Now we're going to glue this in. And not sure I got that for you dad but it doesn't look like we're going to use it on this card nice try though right <laughs> nice try all right so what do we have we can put oh we're going to put this here we're going to add our little fishing basket off of it maybe we'll do it here I think we're going to do it right there. Yes, we are. We're just going to, let's just put that right where it belongs. You guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I so love doing this. And I love sharing it with you. I thank you for all of the comments, the well wishes for my past surgeries, the cancer, everything. <coughs> it, it, it means the world to me. And I don't know how to really... Um, explain that to people how much fun I have doing these videos but I just do I'm gonna actually bring that down so there's my little fishing basket and we have our little hat which I think do we lay it like on top of the basket like it's resting on the basket maybe oh that is cute 
so I'm just going to add some right there. <laughs> I could take that apart and put right like so. So you know what? We're going to do that because it needed an extra dimensional anyways. Ugh. Get the dimensional hold off. Okay. We're going to use it on there. I mean, I made it. So let's use it. It tore a bit, but we're going to glue it together. This would have been a card I would have designed for my father had he still been alive, but he died when he was 43 years old. He contracted hepatitis from a blood transfusion and back there there was back then there was no cure for it. So do we want to we're gonna put this over here. We don't need that extra one, but oh my gosh, isn't that a darling card? Now, you know, it's not going to be the same without our freshly, re our newly refreshed Winka Stella. Because we have to, oh, and it, boy, is it putting out the sparkle now. Oh, yeah. Bring on the sparkle and shine. And we have to do our little it in there oh most definitely and we're gonna do our clouds just the top portion of them to give them a little oh definitely definitely now do we put any bling on oh my gosh do you see all that that's from me adding that alcohol to it okay guys it steps it up it, it brings it back to life <clears throat> really really cool card I really like this um, and I you know I was thinking maybe a little one two three one two three yeah we're gonna add we're gonna add something 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 let's see <clears throat> little bits of blue I think so the blue adhesive back gem. Best $3.20 ever spent. Oh my gosh. It has been so great. So do we do those or these? Well, these kind of have... No, we're going to do these. So I'm going to put one here. Well, I know one's going to go there. One there. And one here. There we go. Now, now she's finished. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous card. Could have made that for my daughter. Put little braids there or something. My daughter loved fishing on the river for salmon. But anyways, I hope you guys like this. Where's my envelope? Did it disappear? Nope. There's my envelope. So that is my card. <laughs> Didn't get to use that. But that's okay. It is still gorgeous. And I'm using the mountain. Uh, envelope really really like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did would you consider leaving me a comment liking sharing my channel is growing exponentially I am over the moon and it would not be possible without you guys out there so I really really uh, just need to tell you thank you and I'm like where is my let me show you give you my email address I need to have one print it up or have my aunt or neighbor do it on the Cricut machine. So if you want to contact me or you want to be on my mailing list, email me your address to Alice. That's me. There's my nickname, Alice Serafin. And this is a small, these are all small. Sorry, it's not capital. Let's try this again. Okay. Alice Serafin. 1969 at gmail.com. I do mailings once a month, usually the first or second week of the month. I mail cards out that I make on my YouTube channel. 
just my way of sharing my love of card making with you and saying thank you for all you have done for me because trust me you may not know it you may not feel it but you do this is I can't explain the joy I get from doing this and from reading your comments and chatting with you I have received such a wonderful amount of support it's hard to fathom but even better than that I have connected with people who like to do the same thing and they have become my friends and I am ever ever so grateful so if you want to uh be on my mailing list contact me there or you can contact me for any questions you have um so that's our card for today paper pumpkin video number 15 and i hope to see you again in my wonderland bye bye now